Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Dual Catch. In the last part, we saved Professor Cosmo, and now we are headed up to the top of this mountain to, um, well, one, watch Maxi's Poochiana wipe out three other Poochianas, but also, um, fight Team Aqua, which is another reason I'm happy to see uh, Pikachu on our team, because normally I would run around with Grovile, and since I was a, I did prioritize Sapphire, I'd be running around with a huge type advantage on all of these guys uh, back in the original, and even an Emerald, because it's hit or miss which one you run into. Well, it's not hit or miss, you run into both teams in Emerald. Um, so half the time I'd have the uh, fight advantage, and then the other half the time I would have uh, a level advantage. So it worked out well. Water gun, take down this Poochiana. Not too worried. Um, yeah, see, 27. Grimer, we're going to keep battling. I'm surprised this guy doesn't have a water type on him. If he did, Pikachu would get a chance for some experience. Mudshot. Super effective, eh? Alright, I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, Mudshot is going to be super effective. I guess I usually use it on Zubats, which would have the flying uh, to block it entirely. I was going to be like, oh, nope, can't use this. And there we go, Marsh Top 28. We're still two levels lower than I wanted to be. Rock Slide. Ooh. Goodbye, Rock Tomb. Hello, Rock Slide. A slight increase, but it works out well. And I believe it's it's almost safe sailing down to. Yep, no, we gotta fight Shelly first. What are you doing here? Did you follow us all the way here from Meteor Falls? We did. Uh, from what is it? Two days ago? Yeah, we we met you and we're like, okay, let's let's finally head to Meteor Falls. I mean, Cosmo's all right. They're probably midway through their plans. It should be fine. But they start with Grimer. I don't know why they're not starting with a Water type. And if she's going to have the same ones, that means she'll have Grimer and... No, she didn't even have Grimer. She had Mightyana and... Um... Uh, sorry, Mightyana and Carvana. So am I expecting a Carvana after this, or what? Disable, we no longer have Mudshot. Um, perfect chance to use Rock Slide, I suppose. And because, you know they're not using water types, I'm not too worried. Uh, even though Marsh Top's not going to have much issues for finally. This is the first water type we've come across in this area. Um, I know Archie is going to have some water types, so Pikachu might get some more mileage there. But level 24 Carvana, weak to, well, Electro Ball. Goodbye, Carvana. And since it's not a physical move, we're not taking rough skin damage like um, Leaf Blade usually would cause. But what was that? Uh, Rat with a bright future. Go be destroyed by Archie. Alright, you can see a nice TM hiding right down the side. We're not too worried. We got in the way of the museum, so we beat Shelly. Let's take him out. Good old Professor High and Mighty back there. <laughs> he was telling us about Megastones and Keystones. If you played Pokemon X and Y, you're already familiar with the concept of Mega Evolution. I guess somewhat if you played Sun and Moon, but still. We're up against Archie, and you can see there's a Mega Keystone in his anchor. He's not going to be using Mega Evolution this early in the game, but there's Mighty Anna. Marsh Tom, it's your turn to, well, play around a bit. Um, I'm surprised once again that these Mighty Annas aren't having Intimidate. Uh, instead, boosting my attack. Um, though. I don't know, is is Mudshot considered physical? I thought it was special and that was one of the reasons I liked it. But I don't know. Um, Rock Slide, however, is physical. 
let's give Rock Slide a shot. Uh, we're already having a risk of hitting ourselves anyways, so Rock Slide with our attack boost from Swagger takes down the Mighty Anna. I mean, congratulations, you played yourself. Sharpedo, we can switch over Pikachu's time, though Sharpedo is a little bit faster than Carvana, um, being, you know, the Torpedo. So I'm a little worried there, though I think, I think Electro Ball might be enough to help us. Swagger as well. That Pikachu, I'm sorry, in that dress is just amazing to watch there. The little cheeks light up and everything. Electro Ball. Confusion is playing very nicely with us today. And he's actually Sharpedo's a higher level than us. Interesting. Yeah, Confusion is our friend today. We took that hit assurance hit, almost died. But with Sharpedo down, I think the only thing he has left is not going to be super effective against uh, Marsh Tom, so we'll switch back. Yeah, Golbat will switch. Yeah, to Marsh Tom. We've got a Rock move, we should be fine. Uh, usually it was Rock Tomb, but now it is Rock Slide, which I hope will be enough of a buff to take a uh, Golbat down instead of a Zubat. And we're actually not. Almost. Almost finished that sentence. To say we're actually not confused anymore. Ooh. Now it's coming down to is confusion gonna play nice? Or is Golbat just doomed? Yeah. That entire battle, for some reason, he wanted to confuse us for the whole thing. Um, and. didn't really backfire on us until maybe this turn. No. Zero. We were confused that entire battle, and we took zero cell phones. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Marsh Chomp has taken down Archie. However, that's just more proof that we are underleveled. Next time, he won't hold back Mega Evolution. How he's missed it. Alright, Matt, worst timing. Alright, so Mount Pyre is where they're headed next. That is a de decent bit away, though I guess we may see it in a few episodes. This game is going quicker than I thought. Um, like, this is episode 10 now, uh, and we're on route to the 4th gym. Uh, that doesn't mean we'll be on the 8th gym by episode 20. But, I don't know. He has confirmed the existence of the orbs. He finds himself outmaneuvered, which is hilarious when you look at the mannerisms of these two people. Archie is definitely like a big sailor guy. And then Maxi is just like, oh no, I've been outmaneuvered, and then is walking away calmly. There's no way I would think these guys would come as normal rivals, but I guess that might be why, because they're complete opposites. Um, Maxi can't use his brains to overpower and figure exactly what Archie's going to do because Archie does things that don't doesn't necessarily make sense. But we've got our bike still. Um, my goal is going to be just to head down this mountain, preferably to that right path so I didn't have to worry about taking any um, unnecessary battles. And we're done! That was that route. Yeah, not too much difficulty in it. However, we have now entered Lava Ridge Town. Oh, you like hot springs? I do. Which is a nice place to heal. Um, I'm actually going to be ignoring the hot springs and just head out this way. I'm glad there's uh, separate sides of this hot spring now. Um, okay, I didn't know that was a thing, but you can bike around in the hot spring. No, I don't know why that's a thing. We'll rest our Pokemon, and we technically can get another team member right now, but I'm going to save it for a little bit. 
but I will pick up two dozen Moo Moo Melks. They're a great heal. Um, they're, for our purposes, uh, better than uh, even Soda Pops. But we'll take only two dozen of them. Because they heal, I believe it's a hundred? Let me double check. Even if it was 80, that's, that's still decent. Yeah, Soda Pop 60, Moo Moo Milk 100. And we have 24 of them, so we're going to be good for probably the rest of the game. Because 100 HP, it's it's hard to come across something that'll kill us. Alright. So we're going to take this egg. That is our third member. However, I'm not going to be running around hatching it right away. It's not going to give us any real help for this next gem. Uh, so I'm actually going to just charge into the gem and probably finish it right now. Um, you can head to the left or right. I believe we have to head to the right to start with. Um, launch ourselves back into the sky. Then you can head to the left. It's a dead end. Oh, a Kindler. We need the experience. I'm just saying this now. Marsh Tomp is too low a level. We are not going to have an easy time with the next gym. But, I mean, with our, if we get our new person and actually train them up to a decent level, that's another issue. They're going to be a while to train up, and there's not too many good places to do so for right now. So, there's going to be probably either an episode of uh, training, which might just be a sped up grinding episode, um, or there's going to be a, a gap. Uh, I'll probably record it as a training episode, and then if I don't like it, ditch it and just come back at the end of it like, hey, here's what happened. Regardless, we should have Swampert by the next gym. This gym, however, Marsh Tomp is going to handle without too much worries. Because, I mean, you can already see this is a fire gym, meaning, you know, the water starter is the best. This is the one gym I had the most trouble with when I was running through the game. Okay, second most trouble with. Yeah, you were literally drowning because we saw you under the water earlier too. Uh, Hiromichi. So, let's take down this coffin. Um, nope, not much shot. He is levitating. I can't believe I made that mistake again. I deserve the damage it's taken here. Rock slide. It's a stronger hit. Hopefully, it's going to do more than Rock Tomb tended to. It's not. What is with everything doing like solid 10 damage? Yeah, no, Rock Slide's still our best bet. Um, uh, Icicle Crash, while nice, isn't going to help too. Wow. That hit hard. While Icicle Crash, while nice, isn't going to hit super effective against this coughing, so it's not worth the turn of switch out an extra damage that Pikachu would get for no reason. Um, even though it would protect Marsh Tomp a little bit longer. So dizzy. You were under the water the entire time we've been here. So we're going to head up a level now. And we can see there's our next line. We want to get to that back set. But there's both a Kindler and a um, Battle Girl, I believe is her term. Which means we have Metatite, probably, because they always seem to have Metatites. I don't know why. Hello, Slugma. Good luck against Marsh Tomp. I think we've seen this battle already. I am going to heal up probably right before the gym later. I don't think we'll need too much healing outside of that. And I think our Water Gun's going to still have plenty of PP until then. I'm a little sad that we can't get Surf until considerably later, because Surf on Marsh Tomp would have been enough to, to basically ignore a lot of the worries that we have here. I hope Flannery burns you good. Flannery, ah, a fun, fun gym later. We already saw that other one was a dead end. So we really just want to fight this guy now. Oh, um, okay, I'll battle with you. Very confident battle girl here. You can tell by her flying into the battle. Um, I mean, if you actually had to make that pose at the beginning of each fight, I mean, I guess you'd get really good at landing it, but... Um, I don't know, it seems off. We'll take the fire punch. 
Okay, if you're gonna use a fighting move, I mean, sorry, like a punching move, there's a, a water punch, I'm sorry, an electric punch. I guess it wouldn't do any damage to us, really. I was thinking, like, it's so much better to use on water types. Not Marsh Chomp, though. Marsh Chomp is safe from that. And a tackle. Down goes Meditate. Sadie is down. Um, I don't know. Is there more, more than like one more fight? Two. There's two more. Because there's this guy, another ninja boy. Ho ho ho! You've left yourself open with ninjutsu. I will conceal myself in steam. Yes. Uh, going into the system for steam. We got ninja boy Shoji. But yeah, this part is gonna be where there's the time lapse, either with the well, that's right. Next part will be where there's the time lapse. This part is just either we're going to um, get to it right at the end or otherwise. Because I think the hard part is going to be getting back all the way across the world. Uh, because we need to go back to Rustboro shortly after this part, and I'm gonna want to add it, like, tack it on to the end of this, or the beginning of the grinding. Ninja Boy Shoji. The steam stings my eyes. You're fine, you're fine. Take this plaque up, and that should put me basically the end. Oh, there's another person here I didn't remember. I remember the Kindler. Um, you know what? A soda pop. Use. Oh, never mind. Marsh Chomp only took like two potions worth of damage. Hello. Can your Pokemon withstand the heat from my Pokemon? I hope so. Uh, it is a water type. Um, and you're using a Slugma. Honestly, still safe on Slugmas. Still gonna get decent experience from killing them. But we still don't one-hit them. Even with this slightly gained experience, like we're a level or two higher than when we entered, we're still not one-hitting the Slugmas. Kecleon. Interesting choice. Uh, Kecleon is one of those ones... Well, I'll show you. If we hit him with Mudshot, uh, he's going to use his ability. First of all, he's going to slow down. But his color change is going to transform him to a ground type. Next he's going to slash, which means he's no longer stabbed because he's no longer normal. However, we also could follow with Water Gun, which means his now ground typing is going to be super effective. Yeah, super effective by Water Gun. Now he's a Water type. And still his slash is not super effective. Mud Shot again. It's a shame they don't actually overlap, but I mean, there, you're now a ground type again. Like, if they were both mutually super effective, this fight would be a joke. But Water Gun, super effective, should take down Kecleon. And that fight is one of the reasons I like Kecleon. Um, because between that or Protein, it's a, it's a hidden ability, uh, it can be an annoyance to fight. Potion. Two. Three. Marsh Tomp is back up to full health, and uh, we're almost actually clear of potions, too. So, uh, they happen to be coinciding that is a good situation. Let's fight this Kindler. Hello, hello, hello. I don't know, I think he is the only encounter you can't avoid in this area? I'm not certain, though. I think all of them have a window to avoid except for this Kindler, but he only has a new one, so... Even if that was five levels higher, I'd do the fight every time because, you know, Marsh Tom loves the free experience. I don't know, actually, if Pikachu is going to get any screen time this um, gym, because the electric and the ice move is not going to help him for this. 
fighting may have, but anything that fighting is going to be super effective against, Marsh Tomp is already super effective against. So, welcome to the Gym Leader, Flannery. What are you going to say? We're just beating you for the first time. Well, welcome! Well, okay. Welcome to you as well. Puny trainer, you've done well to make it this far. I'm honored to be serving as the gym leader of... No, I mean I'm Flannery and I'm in charge here. Uh, you better not ask me because I've been the leader for a short time. I'm going to demonstrate the hot moves honed in this land. Yeah. Okay. That is why she's one of my favorites, is because it is... Because she is so unsure of herself. Water gun again. It's another Slugma, we've been fighting these throughout the way. Did we crit, or did we just get really lucky on that one? Anyways, Slugma goes down, followed by Numel. Another one we're not too worried about. Water gun again. Yeah, this fight is a joke with Marsh Tom. Here is the only potentially challenging fight. Torkoal. Here it comes. Level 28. Water gun. It's got. I thought it had drought for its ability, but I must be mistaken. But it is going to use Sunny Day right away, which is going to weaken any water type moves and strengthen any fire. Uh, as such, we're going to switch to Mud Shot for this attack. Let's see what damage it's going to be doing. We did just enough, I think. I know Mud Shot was going to do slightly more damage against him, but I needed it for. Uh, fights that weren't going to be weak to water, because I can't risk using a water gun. And there goes Flannery. I, I've only recently become a gym leader. Guess I was trying too hard to become someone I'm not. Alright. We got the Fire Badge, or Flare Badge, or whatever this one happens to be called. The Heat Badge. Ah. Pokemon up to 50, including trades. Use, uh, agree, I mean, sorry, obey automatically. Which is nice, uh, but we're not doing any trading for this one, so it's not the end of the world. We can just run down this area, and normally we would be saving right here, right before leaving the gym. But I actually want to step out of the gym. We already picked up the egg, but we haven't got this yet. Hello May, it's a relief. Last time I saw you right after battling those teams, what's it? I'm worried, so thinking what might happen. Got them again, and you beat them? Alright. We got the meteorite back. And we got the go goggles. Very useful item, and how we're gonna be getting our next team member. Do you wanna go back to Petalburg? No. The one time I actually want to turn down May. May. It's like, okay, I'm gonna be in Lawbridge for a while. I'll get, if you need some company. Um, normally, I would love to. I would have jumped on the um, shortcut back to Petalburg. Uh, and I still might. Because uh, it is going to save us from going through the Verdant Turf uh, area. But, we have our egg that we do want to hatch. Um, and that's why this episode is going to go a little long, because I want to use the Go Goggles already. We'll go run back and forth, get this nugget. Uh, the bike is going to make it, hopefully, a much quicker process to hatch this egg. Um, but, with the Goat Goggles, you can head up into this area. And it lets you actually bike through it. Uh, I don't know the layout of this area very well, but we found what we're looking for. There's two fossils. Uh, if you grab one, the other one will fall in the sand. We want the claw fossil. We obtained the Claw Fossil. Uh, and the other one sinks into the sand. I believe it now is unattainable. I know in the other game, like Emerald, you could attain it afterwards, but I don't think that's the case in this one. But we can bike back across, and we're out of the, the sand. That's the only use of the Go Goggles, really. Uh, 
What? We need to go back up Mount Chimney. Yes. Oh, we did fight this person. Then I guess we're gonna cut it here, and we will see you again right in town. Uh, and what? We'll, right before we? No, you know what? I guess I could probably just call it here. We'll be taking out this golden, uh, and then we wanted to go see May uh, and take the shortcut back. I mean, that's not where we're gonna be ending things, really. Now we won't be ending things in Petalburg because I know we do have the fifth gym, but I want to do some more preparation before. Because right now, we're not prepared. This next gym is troublesome. So, I really don't want to cut. That's one thing. So, we have gotten our third team member sitting in an egg right now. Our fourth team member is sitting in a fossil right now. And our last two, we won't get till after the fifth gym. But, they will still be before the sixth. So our team is finally starting to merge together. There is no way to skip this cutscene. Uh, they're starting to get together. We've gotten a water type, a electric type. In the egg, we have why not a psychic type. And uh, from the claw fossil, we have Anares, a rock type. So all in all, we're getting some good team uh, composition. Uh, later on, we're going to be getting a flying type. We need something to use fly anyways. Um, so hopefully that flying type is going to be helpful. But just heading right down this thing. I'm so glad we, we found a path that quickly that does go straight to the bottom of that mountain. Because we have this area, we have a few other areas that we can train up in. Because we are going to be anything that hatches from an eggs level 1. So we've got a long way to go before why not becomes battleable. But look at that, we're back to Petalburg. And you know what that means? We can take on the gym leader. No, it's not happening this time, and I know this part's going a little long. I just, I'm excited to hopefully get to show off two new team members uh, in this part, which is why I'm taking a slightly long route, going a few fun ways. Um, I didn't want to go through the Burden Turf Tunnel, though. Uh, that route is going to be an interesting one to gain some experience on. Oh, here's how far we've grown, even if it's a Shroomish. Nope, it's a Zigzagoon. Remember when Shroomish used to be a troublesome thing? It took up like half a part. That wasn't that long ago. Now we're level 31. We are approaching even um, our final form. Pikachu already having reached it. I don't believe you can cosplay. You can't evolve uh, cosplay Pikachu. So you're stuck with just the form we have now, which is Bell. Which I like. I like this form. You can transform it to a few others and maybe when Marshchomp gets an ice move, I will, but I do like the ability to use someone else to take out uh, the grass type Pokemon, because as I keep mentioning, Marshchomp is quad weak to them. I have two Pokemon now. Oh, you guys are going to regret that. So much regret. I would have run into these guys afterwards anyways, so Lotad and Seedot. Lotad, the water grass type, and Seedot, the grass type. I don't think it's got any second type yet. It does pick up one in a little bit. Rock Slide hits both, and... Oh, I was going to say, and Icicle Crash hits both. Poor Lotad. They were both, what, level 9? Yeah, uh, rest in peace. Lotad fainted, and thanks to Rock Slide, C dot fainted. No bide, no worries at all. Uh, I wish we could have fought them the first time we passed through, because maybe that um, 168 experience would have been useful. But in instead, we have now crossed almost all the way back. In Ruskaro, inside the Stone Corporation building, you can get uh, a Pokemon resurrected. You just have to head up to the second floor, come back, and talk to this guy. I believe it's him. Because... Nope, talking with Pokemon. No. You? No. Which one of you? I guess the one with your own lab area. Yes, please restore it. And, oddly, we got our Anoreth. I didn't expect to get Anoreth before the egg hatched. That's a bit of a surprise to me. 
no nickname for NRF. Let's see. How close is the egg hatching? It looks like it will take a long time to hatch. Alright, Anoris comes to us at level 20. The same level cosplay Pikachu did. So we, we need to get a few more levels for Anoris to be ready. And we need to hatch our egg and show off our other type party member. Why not? Uh, he's not visible yet because he's, well, still hatching. But he will be hatched and maybe not even in that form by the time we start the next one. In the next episode, we are either going to a giant grinding montage, in which case you will see why not hatch, or we're jumping straight into the fifth badge. Hope you guys all have a great night, and hope you enjoy the uh, Alpha Sapphire No Catch. Have a great day.